Item number, SCP-829, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-829 is to be stored in a secured room at Sector 19, in a standard nail polish bottle that is kept locked in a transparent Level 2 security container. This room must be guarded by at least two Level 2 security personnel at all times. Security personnel and a spare bottle will accompany SCP-829 whenever it is removed from its containment room. All personnel must undergo psychological examinations before they are allowed to interact with subjects of SCP-829. Any persons who show signs of excessively compliant behavior must immediately be removed from the presence of subjects of SCP-829. Note: SCP-829 appears to be equally effective on both males and females. For clarity, this document will assume that the subject of SCP-829 is female. Description SCP-829 is a volume of nail polish, typically 3 to 10 cc in size, composed primarily of brand nail polish, but also variable amounts of water, human blood, from multiple individuals, and small amounts of a large number of organic compounds. For a complete list of compounds detected in SCP-829, see document 829-CM. SCP-829 is able to generate more of itself by absorbing water vapor from surrounding air and by drinking human blood dripped into its bottle. If neither water vapor nor blood is available, SCP-829 becomes dormant and does not appear to exhibit negative effects from extended dormancy. To date, researchers do not know how SCP-829 can utilize so much water and still maintain its properties as a nail polish. When applied to a human subject's fingernails, SCP-829 affects the subject in several different ways. Depending on how much blood SCP-829 has received recently, if SCP-829 has received no blood recently, the subject feels more seductive and acts more flirtatiously and develops a compulsion to prick herself and add her blood to SCP-829's bottle. If SCP-829 has received at least a drop of blood recently, the above effects are amplified, and the subject's fingernails evoke a pleasurable sensation in others when touched to their skin. All of these effects get stronger as more blood is given to SCP-829, though a certain percentage of people, at least 15%, are especially persuaded by fingernail contact, no matter how much blood has been given. When SCP-829 has received enough blood, the subject can make her fingernails sharp enough to shred standard fabrics, gouge wood, and easily slice through flesh, although they have little effect on materials of Vickers hardness greater than 120. Subjects affected by SCP-829 follow the same general pattern of behavior. On initial application, the subject will invariably prick herself and feed a bit of her blood to SCP-829. Once SCP-829 has been reapplied, the subject will initiate a sexual relationship with another person, the target. As the relationship develops, the subject will introduce bondage and domination into the relationship, with herself in the dominant role. The subject will also start to scratch the target with her fingernails and draw blood, some of which the subject feeds to SCP-829. The target generally derives pleasure from these scratches. After a variable length of time, most often 6 to 12 weeks, the subject will restrain the target to a wall or table. The encounter will begin as usual but the subject will use her fingernails to slowly and systematically eviscerate the target, while trying to keep the target alive as long as possible. The target will initially continue to derive pleasure from the touch of the subject's fingernails, 
until the pain and trauma inflicted by the subject on the target overwhelms the pleasure the target has derived from the encounter. The subject will collect a large amount of the target's blood in SCP-829's bottle, often more than should fit. Shortly after the target expires, the subject will start the cycle anew. Although the effects of SCP-829 will already be quite strong, making the next relationship much easier to initiate. Once SCP-829 has received sufficient blood from enough different targets, the subject will introduce SCP-829 to her current sexual partner and attempt to apply SCP-829 to the target's fingernails. Willing targets become affected by SCP-829 just as the original subject. Unwilling targets. Data expunged. Both subjects will together continue the flirtation to evisceration cycle, seducing some targets individually and others together. As progressively more blood is given to SCP-829, the subjects will periodically recruit more targets as new subjects for SCP-829. However, if SCP-829 is not fed enough blood, then one subject, usually the newest recruit, will become a standard target, whom the remaining subjects will then restrain and disembowel. For more information, see Case Study 829-CS01. Addendum 1 19 Dr. Rand was brought in to assist researching Subject 829-14, a 28-year-old Asian-American female. During their initial interview, the subject brushed her fingernails across Dr. Rand's skin, eliciting an expected response. Approximately three hours later, both were apprehended when Dr. Rand was helping the subject escape Sector 19. Dr. Rand described a strong compulsion to do what the subject asked of him when touched by her fingernails. This compulsion faded after around 48 hours. The subject was terminated as normal. Addendum 2 19 Due to recent incidents, experimentation of SCP-829 on animals requires Level 4 authorization. Experimentation on any member of the following taxonomic orders requires O5 authorization. Carnivora, Chiroptera, Crocodilia, Falconiforms, Pisiforms, Primates, Accepting Humans, Proboscidea, Strigiforms, and Struthioniforms. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, Go watch SCP-828, The Kalu Pillowit, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.